Okay, basically, um, uh, what I'm trying to do is that I'm going to try to uh, teach you Spanish from YouTube videos, like uh, YouTubers, like Spanish uh, or especially Mexicans YouTuber, Mexican YouTubers that probably you watch or you want to watch but you don't understand anything uh, because, I don't know, you're just trying so hard to understand. Uh, um, so this is the video f video from uh, Draw, Draw My Life, I think that's, that's the name. I'm gonna leave the link on the description. I just forgot the name of the video from Luisito Comunica. Luisito Comunica is a Mexican YouTuber. He's uh, kind of like very famous in my own opinion. And um, basically we are going to uh, learn the way he talks in Spanish by using or kind of like not using but that basically I'm gonna type all the script for you so you can understand word by word and basically we're gonna start you can open uh, the video and in another tab and just like follow me while I'm explaining every word you can also pronounce it and probably what I'm going to do is that also I'm gonna uh, leave I'm gonna put a link in the description for you to go and download an audio version or like an audio and in that audio basically I'm going to be speaking really slow I'm gonna be reading all this script really slow so you can understand better and the next time you watch the video of this guy uh, you can understand more and probably you're gonna learn many many Mexican words and also not just Mexican words I would say that uh, he represents a lot of Latin Americans not just from Mexico so you're gonna learn a lot of Spanish today so that's a long presentation okay so we're gonna start from the very beginning of the video so the first expression he uses is amigos meaning friends como se encuentran how are you? But you have to notice here that the way he's asking how are you is not for one person. This is the way that we use to ask a group of people, many people. So, como se encuentran? Basically, the translation from Spanish to English would be like, how do you find yourself? I know it's kind of like weird, but that's the way we say it. It's a very common way. There's also a way to say it in to say it in a uh, you know for a one person which uh, that would be como te encuentras but that's another story so let's move on to the next uh, to the next phrase he says hoy voy a hacer un draw my life so basically he's saying today hoy voy a hacer today I'm going to do Un draw my life. A draw my life. Alright, that's not really complicated, of course. And then he asks the question Se acuerdan, se acuerdan de esa tendencia. So again, he's talking to many people. That's something that you can do in, in Spanish. It's really easy. Se acuerdan. It's like, do you people remember? Uh, this trend, tendencia, it's a really important word, tendencia, trend, del 2014, 2014. So again, do you guys, do you people remember that trend? Recuerda, se acuerdan de esa tendencia uh, in 2014, del 2014. Do you remember that, that trend in 2014? And then he's like kind of like uh, he's, he doesn't have a script so he goes like por ahí something like that. He's guessing the, 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 the year por ahí around that or something like that. Como 2014. Como 2014. So uh, something like that, like 2014, and then he asked his friend, no cuchao? This is the most, I would say, one of the most uh, 
common ways to ask someone, right? Am I right? So he's asking his friend, right, Kuchao? No, Kuchao? So we just use no. Sometimes you don't have to add a name. We just say to no. For example, to confirm something, to ask a person if we are right or just to confirm that, that they agree with us, we just say no. So, no, Kuchao? It's like asking. So, you know, the year was around 2014. Right, Kuchao? No, Kuchao? And he, he repeats the name, the number again, 2014, 2014. Then he says the next number, 15, 15, 15. Una tendencia ya bastante vieja. So he's saying this is a, uh, uh, a trend or uh, like this is an old already trend so the word ya is saying in this in this uh, in this case already like he was saying that trend at that point was already already uh, old and then que en aquellos días so that trend that really already old trend that in those days, que en aquellos días, <coughs> tenía muchas, muchas vistas, had a lot, a lot of views. And, well, that's going to be the end of the first video. If you have any questions, uh, just type it here, type in here, and I'll be happy to help you with them. So, that's all. See you guys in the next one. Bye.